Not one, not two, but three charity singles for Haiti are being made. Quincy Jones and Simon Cowell both mixing star-studded numbers. But we were invited to the recording of a more alternative single. Pogue's frontman Shane McGowan has enlisted ex-Clash guitarist Mick Jones and Chrissy Hine to record a version of I Put a Spell on You. Stephanie West has taken the spell. Under a full moon in studios hidden away in a South London estate, this single was recorded with little fanfare. Nick Cave invited along by Pogue's frontman Shane McGowan. Low key and low lit, the select gathering included Primal Screams' Bobby Gillespie, Glenn Matlock of the Sex Pistols and Mick Jones from The Clash. McGowan's partner, the writer Victoria Clark, says it was old school, pulled together in a matter of days. It just popped into my head as a great alternative to what Simon Cowell's doing. I mean, as an alternative, like, yeah. you know, for Haiti. I thought it sounded like it was a cool idea, and I thought he would be brilliant doing it, and I thought Nick would be brilliant doing it. Great. And Cave was delighted they'd chosen to record I Put a Spell on You from the late Screaming Jay Hawkins because he'd toured with the original shock rocker in the years before his death a decade ago. I Put a Spell on You. When Hawkins wrote it in 1956, it was banned by radio stations in his native America for its hint of witchcraft. But Shane and co believe in 2010, it makes a fine charity single. Casting a spell on you doesn't mean bad spell, it means... A good spell, yeah. Casting a spell on you because I love you. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of like a white magic kind of thing. Yeah. And do you think there can't be too many? So, you know, singles, there's this one, there's Simon Cowell's, there's going to be Quincy Jones and, Lion, Quincy Jones and Lionel Richie are doing... Well, I like to hear Quincy Jones. I'm not quite sure about Lionel Richie. Um, and I'm very not that concerned about hearing the Simon Cowell one, musically. But, you know, if he's doing that, that's cool. We thank you, America, for your support. And, and the other singles continue. are sure to be lavish. Many artists from last night's Grammys have stayed on and in really Hollywood quick. today to re-record We Are The World. Please welcome... Prince and Paris Jackson, everybody. Lionel Richie wrote that hit with Michael Jackson back in 1985 to raise money for Ethiopia, and it's understood Jackson's children have asked to be involved in some way. Through all his songs, his message was simple, love. We will continue to spread his message and help the world. Thank you. As in 1985, Quincy Jones will be producing the track, which he's promising will have a lineup to rival the first, which included Bruce Springsteen and Ray Charles. And Simon Cowell has Robbie Williams, Mariah Carey, and Rod Stewart in his re recording of REM's Everybody Hurts. Asked if you can have too many singles, all musicians involved say no. I do any charity that I was asked to do. Because, you know, it's just singing. I mean, it's a no brainer. You just walk in and. It's not like, it's when you're asked for personal effects to give to auctions that it seems a bit creepy because those are like your, that's your gear. Money raised from this single will go to the Dublin-based Concern Worldwide, which has been in Haiti for 16 years with 100 workers on the ground. Since the earthquake, they've distributed 135,000 litres of water a day. I don't think there can, there can be enough. It's like, it's like you can never have enough guitarists. Same kind of thing, you know what I mean? Let's everybody do what you can. And the charity is pleased this single won't be released until the end of February. Says it will keep Haiti in the headlines. Stephanie West in a studio somewhere in London.